Today on Game & Watch It, E3 is around the corner, and you know what that means? Stupid Dumb rumors. rumors. <laughs> and I believe every single one. <laughs> Welcome to a beautiful episode of Game and Watch It. I am back as your roast, uh, as your as your roast. <laughs> I am back as your host, Rusty. <laughs> and joining me are my two best pals, you RZ. You did it, and Polly. Yeah, yeah, we're his best pals. Oh my God! So I'm back from Japan. I have a beautiful collection of goods that I'm going to show off in just a little bit. But mm-hmm. first off, how did you guys do without me? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Pretty yeah, good. yeah. You can actually it's listen. Cool. It was oh, like you. Yeah, of course. When I was there, I had like no one to talk to, so listening to you guys <laughs> was a really nice way just to kind of like get a feel for home. It was actually really, really sweet. Yeah, we barely noticed you were gone. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm actually kind of depressed now that you're back, but you know. Well, I'm actually... back as the host now, and you do what I say. Now, <laughs> tell me what you're playing. Well, when I was host, there's at least twice as many, <laughs> and we're back, yes. as well as, and welcome. <laughs> no, what have I been playing? All right, my run of Gungeon has finally come to the end. I think I've been talking about this for like the last three episodes. I need to see gameplay of this game, because you've been talking about it, and I still have no idea what it looks like, or no idea how, well, it plays like Binding of Isaac, but I want to see Yeah, I like Binding like. of Isaac, it but like a... Binding of Isaac and like... Pixel Junk Shooter, if you guys ever played it. Like, any twin yeah. stick shooter mixed with a roguelike. So there's more... There, It's a little bit more leaning towards, like, bullet hell in terms of the amount of projectiles. Also, the gun puns everywhere. Oh, Everything God. is a gun or the, a bullet. The bullet that shoots guns at you. Yes. <laughs> give me, uh, give me or an Or the art. bullet that shoots guns that shoots bullets. Yes. <laughs> Arzy, paint me a picture of what it looks like. Give me the art style. Um, like, 16-bit-esque. If you play on PC... Yeah. Um, so, like, I mean... Like over the top sort of shooter. It's by the same maker of um, Hotline Miami. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, okay. I think I've seen this game then. So, like, all the little enemies are these cute little bullet creatures that like also have guns, and everything is a bullet, and everything is a gun. Okay. Um, and there's four different characters to play from. The important gameplay differentiation, the most notably from Binding of Isaac, is the uh, dodge roll, which really makes the bullet hell stuff possible. Yeah. Because a lot of enemies will shoot like waves or like swarms of bullets at you, and mm-hmm. Off, like your character can often not be fast enough to move out of the way, so you have limited invi- uh, invincibility as you dodge through them. For sure. So it is also very challenging. So I unlocked the pass of the four main characters. I have not beaten what I will refer to as the the final challenge for to not be uh, into much of the spoilers. <laughs> but like, I've had a fuck enough. I've probably played like 50, 60 hours of Jesus. this game. Yeah. Um, That's it, a lot. It's, it's a uh-huh. kind of game that like you really shit until it just clicks. Like I didn't beat the game until like my 112th run. Yeah, and then that was just to like beat the game and instead of like being the pass, which was like sort of another level past that. But then I was like beating games back to back after that point, and it's just kind of. I've had my fill. I've had enough. I haven't played any games since. I don't know what the next thing is. I just haven't had any time. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't blame you. I, I know where you're coming from with that. And there, every game reaches that point, in my eyes. It's, you it's, know what? It, it's, and it's the reason why I'm going to say right now, I am probably not going to get any Dark Souls games going forward. It's just, sure. I don't have the time to get good. I know I'm capable of doing it. It's only a matter of time before I do, but yeah. time is just a resource. I don't have 50 hours to get good at a game. Well, you just had 50 oh, yeah. hours to play, uh, what's the game called? Yeah, I know. It really fucked up my life oh, okay. for, for like six and, weeks. Yeah, and that's that's a game that's like bite-sized. Imagine getting into like a story-based game. I think Dark Souls is getting higher to like 60, 70 plus hours. Like yeah. it's it's that's up not there. too bad when you compare to like Legend of Zelda or, or Odyssey and stuff. We put in about the same hours. Yeah, but that was more because we were like messing around. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, even with Odyssey, I don't think I put in that many hours. I might have put somewhere closer to like 40 just because I was dicking around so much, but still, like. I know, I think I'm at 70 or something like really? that. Really? Yeah, because oh new God. costumes have come out and you need to yeah. like grind for coins. You have, to, you have to grind in that game, which is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, you do have to. Yeah, it, it's yeah. It's just, I've, I've talked enough about Odyssey. Yeah, so don't get me <laughs> wrong. True. I enjoyed my time, and beating those pass was immensely satisfying. Especially like my first win. Mm-hmm. Like I took screenshots on my uh, Switch of basically all my major wins. Cute, nice. But like, I've had enough. And when I look back at all the time, I'm like, look around my house. 
It's like, I have not been doing anything else in my free time. Anything else. Okay, so what? Uh, what's the score? Ooh, I gotta give it a solid A. Like, it's really? not a perfect game, but oh, yeah. I really, really enjoyed it. Okay, cool. I, I completely agree. I've been, I've been enjoying my time with it, too. It's just oh, you're a fantastic well. game. Oh, yeah. Okay. I've been going on and off with it. It's why I was saying it's it, you can turn it into like a bite-sized game, play it for like half an hour, put it down, go play something else or do yeah. something else, whatever. The game I've been playing, and sorry, are you do you have anything else that you wanted to No, I'm good. Okay. The big one that I've been playing that is the complete opposite of that just because it's so story-based is God of War. Oh, yes, that oh. game looks beautiful. Oh my god. Yeah. First and foremost, Come visually here, I cannot believe that that game is a PS4 game. It makes no sense to me. I've seen PC games with way, way heavier emphasis on like graphics mm-hmm. and being played with way better internals, and they haven't looked anywhere near as good. It's beautiful. It's mm-hmm. gorgeous. Now, when you go into screenshot mode or uh, selfie mode, is it like a better resolution of the graphics? Kind of like... As far as I know, everything is in-game, so that's just the way that it sets. But okay. mind you, that's a patch that only happened maybe about a week ago from yeah. when we were recording And are this. you playing on a Pro or a normal uh, PS4? Normal PS4, okay. which is wow. why I was saying, like, I can't believe how good it looks. Yeah. I'm playing in, I think it's 1080, 30 frames per second, and with that's, HDR running that's on half my as many TV. frames as you should I heard be the playing. HDR is supposed to be fantastic. It's like the oh. pinnacle of HDR blacks. It is re. Ridiculous. I need to see what HDR looks like because I've seen what black looks like, but I've never seen what real black looks like well, on next a television time you come screen. Over, I'll show you. Cool. Okay, I can't cool. wait. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, getting into the the nitty gritty of the game, it is just absolutely fantastic. First and foremost, there are no cutscenes in this game, or no, you know. FMVs of sorts. Yeah, well, it's kind of set up in like one continuous shot as much as possible. It in every case outside of loading into a new realm. Yeah, that's all it is. Now Kratos is in um, Norway, I guess, or yeah, Finland or whatever. Yeah, it just it's Norse mythology. Now he's somewhere in the north. He gets disturbed by one of the gods. Starts this whole mission because it was supposed to be just him and his son going to. Release his wife's ashes into uh, from the highest peak in all the realms, mm-hmm. and it turns into this much bigger father and son bonding story. Yeah, it sounds to me like your typical PlayStation exclusive. You have an old adult with some sort of child. Yeah, they they really do. There really is a pattern, isn't it? I never. Yeah. Heard, I never <laughs> They're really good at in. those games. They do them very well. It's all different studios, though. But I guess yeah, they all pull from each other. Yeah, but I'm it's... telling you, this story is almost unmatched in my eyes. It is mm. just. Flawless. The character progression is amazing. You can truly see uh, his son's name is Atreus, named after the Spartan. Okay, it's it's, it's it leads back into the. His old name stories. is Boy. Yes, Boy, Boy, get over here! I can't do the voice. Anyways, it's beyond the point. Um, yeah, so it's just how everything kind of fits together with the story. There's certain things I'm not going to spoil anything, but the end has a couple of nice big surprises and stuff that like. You could tell they hinted at it, but just so ever subtly that, like, I had no idea until it actually happened. And then I looked, I'm like, of course. I think I'd figure it out. <laughs> well, you're hitting it with... <laughs> <laughs> you're raising some red flags. You're Why? talking about story and story, story, story. How yeah, you're, you're, how? you're no, preaching no, 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 to the no. wrong... You're preaching to the wrong recipe. How is the gameplay? Flawless. Okay. It so is it's incredible. That's what I'm saying. This game is the whole package. It has amazing story, amazing visuals. The music score is gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Like one of the best I've heard for a modern day orchestral um, movie. Uh, movical movical stores. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure I said movical stores. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, the, the thing is the whole package. The gameplay is very simplistic at the beginning, but that's because they built in an RPG system where we, when you gain experience, you can spend those experience points on getting new moves. Yeah. There are items you can find within the world that are moves themselves, so and you can attach them to pretty similar to, to the older uh, God of War games, no? They, yes, it, but way more in-depth. Okay. Like, Same. there's a lot to, to kind of, like, you know, dig your way through. I'm curious about the gameplay. Is it, is it the same as the old stuff, or is it is it new, or is it kind of new? What's going on there? They pulled a lot more from the Souls series than they did with old God of War. There is no jumping whatsoever. The camera is... Over the shoulder, much like with uh, Leon Resident Evil 4, where Leon's off to the side of the, uh, the camera and My the rest of it is all open. Angle. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's like offset third person. That's it, yeah. Okay. It's glorious. Again, the combat, one of the best pieces of the game. Mm-hmm. It's 
you know, simple enough where, where you only have your basic moves, it's still fun. But as soon as you start delving into just the, the little details of everything, it's incredible. And getting into that, the attention to de uh, detail in general is amazing. There's parts of the game where you have to ride on a boat to get to different areas, and it's pretty boring, as is, you know, most boat physics in, uh, in general, right? So with that in mind, there's always a conversation happening while you're on a boat. Mm -hmm. If you get off the boat and, let's say, do a side quest or something, and you're midway through that conversation, it will stop. You could be off the boat for literal hours. Stop the game, reload the game, get back on the boat. It remembers the conversation you were having and st uh, starts to at the exact point that you were at. Oh, I don't. Like that doesn't do anything for me. Oh, that's amazing for me. It's the little <laughs> details that always get me with games. It's cool. So like, if it, if it cuts well. off like part in the way of a sentence, does it like pick no, up no. organically? Because that sounds kind of like awkward. Like, oh, robot ends se sentence. <laughs> Let us continue discussing now that we are back I'm on a sure, boat. I'm sure there they are do it transitions. Smoothly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So what will happen is when you get off the boat, the sentence will finish. Either Kratos or one of the other characters will say like, "Hey." We'll talk about this later. Yeah. And then they move on. Save it for the boat back. or like that's, that, that's boat conversation or something. For, like, well, yeah, but not quite that literal. But yeah, I was listening to Easy Allies and they, they actually said something like that. We're like, really? no, like, no boy, that's for the boat conversation. Like he actually says, no boy, that's <laughs> <Yeah>. boat talk. <laughs> Basically. Not, not while I was playing it or not to my recollection. Okay. But, but to go like to more into what you're saying, I heard there's like a lot of dialogue and you, if you play it once, and you play it again, there's going to be more dialogue that you haven't heard before. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot to take in for a potential second playthrough, but it's a long game. I don't see myself playing it again. Okay. There's a lot to do after as well for the end game. Mm -hmm. Going back and finding little secrets that you haven't had, but it unlocks two extra realms for you mm -hmm. that you can get to. It's very, very cool. They only touched on, I believe, four or five of the realms. And there are a bunch to get to. And I'm just going to say this right now. There is a sequel coming. There is no question. They've God of War 2? I'm assuming <laughs> it would have to be, yeah. Horrible naming conventions. They're rebooting in a sense. But it's, it's not a reboot because it's, it's a, a continuation, continuation of the story. For sure, yeah. But it's just they're... Are they actually calling it God of War 2? No, well, who knows? I'm I mean, sure they'll call it like it, but... God of War Revenge and Sing or something, whatever the fuck. <laughs> yeah. Okay, dude, it's not, it's not Hideo it's, Kojima yeah, producing yeah. the game. <laughs> yeah. I actually played God of War on the PSP. That's the only God of War that I ever played, and I fucking loved it. It was, it was, it was a fun game. Yeah. Yeah. Hack there... and Slash. Is it still a Hack and Slash? It is, in a sense. It is a little more detailed in the battle. You have to pay a little more attention. Okay. Cause but it is still pretty button mashy. Because if times. it's a Hack and Slash and you're, you're, from, you're using that camera angle, I could just imagine it not being like... The correct camera. It for could the be medium. kind of jarring, yeah. If there's a lot going on, I'm telling you, it works. Like I'm, I'm sure it does. It's been praised, yeah. like yeah, through and through. Yeah. Again, the combat is a little more combat oriented instead of like you know bash mutton or bash muttons. <laughs> God, we're, mash, on, we're on point today. Mash, <laughs> mash, 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 quick time. Mash, mash, <laughs> mash, quick time. Exactly. It's, it's not your typical action game. Beat 'em up, I should say. Yeah. It is a lot more focused. Yeah. It's a typical. PS4 game. It's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, it sounds, no, no, no. yeah, it sounds very generic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah of course. <laughs> as much as I hate Last of Us, I actually enjoyed it a lot. So uh, that style of game is uh, okay in my books. Cool. I do. Resident have Evil Four is also uh, in the kind of same style. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Arguably a much better game. Oh, so anyways, oh, so oh, oh, oh. Hey, RE4 is up there. Anyways, Great. I have two other. <laughs> I have two. It is up there for sure. But I have two other games I want to touch on briefly. Of course you do. I started one today called the Sword of Ditto. I was telling Rusty about this before. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like it'll do in a sense that it's a you know very Zelda-like game from Link to the Past. Yep. You can tell there's a lot of callbacks to it, a lot of references to that game specifically. It has a very cutesy art style, much like it'll do. I'm going to say, if you guys know uh, Ashley Davis, she's Anthony Birch's wife. She did a couple of stuff for uh, Hey Ash, What's She Playing? She has her own webcomic going. Her art style is near identical to the game. So I'm actually kind of wondering if she did the art. Yeah, the she probably did. I could yeah, see it. It's pretty plausible. Yeah, 100%. Anyways, the game is exactly what you would expect. Zelda game, very well put together as far as I can tell. I've only been in the first dungeon. But even then, the puzzles are interesting, but not too hard. So I'm enjoying it so far. And the last one is Golf Story. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's one of that I'm waiting for a retail physical edition. Yeah, I wish if it it's does coming, come, it's coming. They already announced it. Did they? Yeah. See, I wish I would I wish I would have waited because that would have been amazing. The game is awesome. For a sit down and screw around on a golf course type game, mm -hmm. there's a lot of meat to bite into. The courses are because of how ridiculous the world is, 
the courses are all just as ridiculous. Like, yeah. the second course you get to is a Neanderthal-driven Neanderthal caveman-type world. Okay. Except it's just a course. Cute. Yeah, and they build it upon, like, the rivaling courses. The third one, if I'm not mistaken, is a, like, haunted one with, like, ghosts and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's very cool how they set it up. The courses are very well put together. They throw in a few cartoony little buffs that you can get. Like, in the caveman world, you can knock your ball into the water in certain areas and a turtle will pop up and help you. Cute. So it'll bring it beyond the water. And you can drop your ball anywhere, anytime, right? Uh, only while you're in the open world. Once okay. you're actually playing a course, it plays like real golf. Oh, for sure, for sure. But you know? like when you're when you're traversing. Oh, yeah. And there's secrets to find. It's very well put together. The the dry or the clubs you can get are all pretty cool. There's a bunch of them that like do ridiculous stuff like allowing you to like control the ball's angle and how it curves with your thumbstick. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's built very, very well. I enjoy it a lot. Yeah, Golf Story is on my list to get. That and Snake Pass. I'm just waiting for a physical edition. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got you. I love my physical editions. Mm. Speaking of which, I just bought Shantae and the Half Hero Special Edition. Yeah, got Comes that with uh, an art book and a CD and all that junk. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited to play that. I know you played it. That's Did you fun. like it? Yeah, yeah. It was short, though, no? Yeah, I, I wouldn't okay. pay $50 for it or whatever you paid for that edition. I think it's like, worth it just yeah. to have. I, I love collecting. As you can see, I'm a big uh, video game collector from Yeah, It is all very short, I will say. Mm-hmm. But you also, did you play Risky, the, the DLC content? No. Because you get to play as the... Um, as yeah, the, the as uh, like Sky Risky and Risky. There, there's DLC for Sky and Risky and Roddy yeah, Tops. Yeah, so like... Uh, paid DLC? Yes. Okay. So like an you. extra 20 bucks. Ooh, so I think it might Jesus. be worth $59 yeah. or something like that. Yeah, I guess with all the DLC. Yeah. No I'll me. let you know, I guess. No for me. No for me. So what am I playing? Oh, great question. Um, so <laughs> I just came back from Japan and I played a shit ton of video games in the arcades. Nice. Oh, dear. Lots of Mario Kart. Yeah. Lots of Luigi's Mansion. I played the Flip the Table game. Nice. I had, no idea. I had no idea when to flip the table. So <laughs> I was waiting. Like I played it like one or two times and... I was like just waiting for like a visual cue or something like a video game would give me. Yeah. But it gave me nothing. Or maybe I just didn't know what I was looking for. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, just going around the arcades and watching people play these crazy games. Yep. Where it's like there's one where you're in a hotel and there's all the thugs in there and you gotta like punch a punching bag. And the harder really? you punch, the faster you send the guy flying, and it's like a ragdoll physics mechanic, <laughs> and the more stuff you break in the hotel, the more points you get. <laughs> So it was just a lot of a lot of cool stuff to see, and it's interesting. You go you go in there and you have like it's like Tuesday night, and there will be a family in there playing Mario Kart. So it's yeah. not like it's like in Japan, families and like everyone plays video games. Old, yeah. young. It's not yeah. looked down upon as it is here. Yeah, it, there is more of a stigma here for sure, but you can tell it's just in the culture over there. It like, is. Yeah, it's amazing how arcades are still going strong in you know that oh, country where over here they're pretty much dead they're huge and they're everywhere and they're yeah. 12 stories big oh, and there's smoking areas it's you could just get lost in there and just have yeah. some fun did you play any konami pachinko machines no that's the only <laughs> thing that i did not get to do but i did play a couple of the crane games mm-hmm. the alien yeah. ufo uh, catcher nice nice yeah it's just nice to get a beer you go to 7-eleven you can drink anywhere you want and it's just fun to watch people who are really good at those games because the strategy that they use to get those big things, yeah, it's, it's something Seriously, else. Seriously, eh? Yeah. Wow. They're pros. Like, it's rigged. So, so they have to, like, what, take steps of, like, very slowly prying it out and then at the final point grabbing it and bringing yeah, it over. Yeah, the, but the claw is so weak, so they're just, like, petting the head and just, like, slowly, slowly turning it. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. It's, that's, that's too much for me. It was pretty cool. That is oh no I'd be okay to watch that but to sit and do it I don't yeah, know I if spent I could a couple pull that off. I spent a couple hundred yen but then I was just like oh that's nothing yeah and then I was like I'll just watch people it's more it's much more entertaining yeah for sure and then of course I bought all these goodies nice yes. um, I spent countless hours in Akihabara oh god yeah going my through dream all place. these used video game shops new video game shops seeing what they had and these are my favorite picks nice so let's start off with some stickers. Mm-hmm. They had some uh, official Super Mario Odyssey bumper stickers that you put on your uh, your bumper. ship <laughs> or your luggage. Yeah, luggage. But he put it like it was bumper stickers because he puts it on his oh uh, on the ship. Yeah, on the, yeah, yeah, on the yeah, Odyssey. Yeah. 
So uh, I wanted to buy all of them, but they're quite expensive. So I decided to get my favorite, which is uh, Fossil Falls. Nice, mm-hmm. yeah. New Dog City, of course. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, Steam Garden. Solid choices. Nice. Yeah, so yeah, these are my three favorite uh, stickers and actual kingdoms in the game. Um, I also went to the Pokemon Center in absolutely every city that I landed in. Yeah. And the theme of this year was... Pikachu riding la- Lapras, or things oh, riding Lapras. Anything riding Lapras? Yeah, so they had like all these really cool statues of Ash and Pikachu on Lapras and stuff. And nice. I got this one. Oh, it's adorable. Cute. It's cute, eh? Oh, my God. So that is, uh, that, that's the thing of this year. It's like the theme of it. Yep. And um, I also got to go to the Pikachu, the Pokemon Cafe. Nice. So me and uh, my partner, Jonathan, we went there and... They wouldn't let us in because you need reservations. Got you. Yeah, so yeah, So yeah. I was going to go back at the end of the month. So I thought that was a good good amount of time to get a reservation. And I did. But boy, was it complicated to get a reservation. Yeah. Because it's all in Japanese. And then you got to get your Japanese kanji name. So you got to go to a separate website, type in your name, figure out what your, your kanji name is. Mm. And then you need to input it where they want you to put that stuff. I see. So <laughs> it was a mess. But I got there. I, I sat down by myself. I had some... Uh, what did I have? I had some like pasta dish where the omelet was like, so a very thin omelet over the pasta. Okay. And that was supposed to be the Pikachu. Okay. And then it was a bed of lettuce, so it looked like Pikachu was inside of a bush. Uh. <laughs> so all these, these plates were just gorgeous to look at. So I ordered a lot. Was it was it pasta or noodles though? It was carbonara. <laughs> It was okay, pretty good. fair enough. It was pretty it was pretty decent. Yeah. And then halfway through Pikachu came out in his big costume. Oh, that's and amazing. It was like everyone was singing Pika 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 Pikachu. Pika 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 Pikachu. <laughs> so I'm there by myself. There's all these children around me. I was like, oh God. <laughs> so halfway I'm on my phone and I'm just I'm on the internet and Pikachu's been here for half an hour singing this song. So I'm like, whatever, I don't care. Yeah. So I'm looking and then everyone starts looking at me and Pikachu is behind me trying to get my attention. <laughs> <laughs> and then I turned around and I said, Hi, Pikachu. And he said, Hi. And he said, Pika. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He understood you, though? Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Very good Good food, too. And oh, yeah. Of course. Beautiful. A beautiful shop. Nice. Just to like sit down, have a nice meal, have cool. some uh, tea and pancakes and all that kind of good stuff. Cool. What else did you do in the Akibahara? I shopped. So I got cool. there really early in the morning, <laughs> and then I uh, I went to every store that I wanted to go to. Yep. I wrote down the prices, took lots of picks, then I went for a nice ramen lunch. Nice. And then I looked at all my picks that I took, and then I'm like, okay, hey, now we got to go here, 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 and here, and get everything that I got. Nice. So let's get into some of it. Um, yep. We got some beautiful Hanafuda cards right here. Oh, I've always wanted Dude. a set of those. Um, I got into these from Club Nintendo. Yes. Back in the day, they had uh, these awesome Club Nintendo uh, rewards when you buy a lot of games. Yeah. Do you remember when we went into EB Games and we opened up every single yes. box? <laughs> we were trying to see if anybody had left behind Club Nintendo points. And everybody Dude. left behind them. Oh. The, the problem is, they. I feel like such an asshole even saying this. They were new games, but you know the display cases? Yeah. The, the employees in EB Games or GameStop or whatever the affiliate is... Left the slips inside of the cases. Oh, I so see. So we stayed there for like what half an hour, half 45 an hour minutes, just... and we were just taking <laughs> pictures of the codes and went home and, and put them all. Into the we system. got to. I got to. How did nobody yeah. see what the fuck you were doing? Because that would Club look Nintendo, so suspicious. Club Nintendo wasn't that popular. It no, just but came I, out. but I mean, like, if oh, I'm the, the store? person working at the store and is like, why the hell are they doing this? I don't think they noticed. We I were don't pretty. They, we were. They did not. Oh yeah, it's not like we were like running around throwing cases over our shoulders yeah. after grabbing. No, them. You said like, you were there for half an hour we opening weren't. cases over and over again. We yeah, no, we, we'd like walk around. Maybe I'm just a, a more bit, suspicious grab person. Grab a few of them, open it up, snap we a went picture, put it back. From bronze to platinum. Yeah. And it takes like, it's supposed to take like eight months to a year to get to platinum. Yeah. Oh, oh. I, I miss Club Nintendo. I feel so bad for the people we screwed over all that for the points. They probably didn't even notice. Who cares? So it is true. We got um, so one year I got a uh, cool Club Nintendo Hanafuda cards. Nice. And it's it's the the original series of this one. This is the second one. And this these feature characters like Rosalina and mm. um, Waluigi and, and more like obscure Nintendo characters that weren't in the original set. Gotcha. So I purchased the the second set of that, and then I got the original ones that they used to produce in the 1800s. Nice. So it's just like this guy. Cool. Napoleon, I think. Is that Napoleon? Kind of looks like Napoleon. It's Napoleon. It looks, like, looks like Japanese Napoleon. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, my next purchase, we have a Game Boy Pocket. Nice. In vein of the original Game Boy. Which I didn't even know existed. Yeah. That is pretty awesome. I, I have a have feeling. The, I used to have the clear one. Yeah, same. yeah, that's that's like the classic Game Boy Pocket. This uh, I wish I kind of got that one. Looking back at it now, well, Daniela had the Cool Ice one. Remember the Cool Ice? That one? was a Toys oh, R Us. Yeah. That was a Toys R Us exclusive. That was pretty sweet. Nah, you know what? I I like the the clear transparent. Oh, one. I stand by my choice. Yeah, 100%. yeah, that's like the original Game Boy Pocket. Wasn't one. there a black yeah. one too though? Like there I was thought, lots. Yeah. There, well, for yeah. colors, yeah, there was a yeah. crazy amount of variants. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, mm. I wasn't able to purchase the Game Boy Light. Just because yep. it was way too expensive and I wouldn't have been able to purchase all this other stuff. So Fair. one day I'll get it when I'm rich and famous <laughs> on YouTube. Like and subscribe. <laughs> smash that like button. Yeah, smash that like button. <laughs> so um, the game I'm currently uh, playing in here is uh, Pokemon Pinball. Yep. And what's cool about this is you insert a AAA battery and um, the feature rumble will, tr- will turn on. Nice. Unfortunately, this one doesn't work because it is really old. Mm-hmm. But it's okay. Um, we also got an, another bunch of Game Boy games that I purchased. We got uh, Rockman World 5. Nice. And this is a cool Mega Man game because the first four were ports. Yes. And this one is, is the first Game Boy, Mega Man Game Boy game that was built from the ground up. Huh. And it features animal characters. Yep. So it's all animal villains and it was, it's pretty good. But not as good as Kid Dracula. Oh, I want that game so bad. This is I, I actually bought this from Toronto a while back, but it's just in this pile for some reason. Huh. And this is um, a Castlevania kitty version. Yeah. Okay. And it's a platformer, and you could transform into a bat and something else. But it's it's really cool, and it plays really smooth. Compared to Mega Man, this is a much better platformer. I'm sure it makes a very good pachinko machine. Now they do, yes. <laughs> God damn you, Konami. So this one is... I'm, I kind of don't know much about this one, but this is for whom the the frog bells toll or something what? like that. Bo- it's it's made by Nintendo. There's a couple trophies of it uh, in Melee or Brawl or one of the Smash Brothers games. Weird. It's okay. I recognize the trophies, but I forget what the game is called. Yeah, it's 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 kind of like a Zelda uh, Link's Awakening style. Do you recognize? Oh, that, that game? yeah, yeah. It's yeah, those yeah, trophies we thought for Quest for sixty. Or we thought were for Quest sixty four, but weren't for Quest sixty four. That's right. Exactly. So I think is it an nice. assist trophy now? I believe. I think so. Yes, I think I it think became so. an assist trophy. This so I decided is, is awesome. to to get that. I'll never be able to play it unless like I, I print out a translation. But whatever. Yeah. Um, we also have Mole Mania. Nice. Yeah. A secret Miyamoto game that not many people know about. Yeah. Hmm. It's a it's a action so it puzzler. Like the Pooh is on it. Platformer. <laughs> it's cool. It's kind of like a light world and dark world. So you got the surface and then you 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 go down. So it's um, each screen is a puzzle. And it's kind of like a maze, and you could kind of like you have the top, and then when you go underground, yeah. you can see the underground. Then you could kind of like mix and match to solve the puzzles. Mm-hmm. No idea how to play it. They, I tried. They released it on. Uh, it was either DS Lite or 3DS. Yeah, it's, it's on the 3DS two. Virtual Console. That's what it is. Yeah, I was gonna buy it just so I can have like a translation, but I'm like, no, that's that's. Not oh cool. no, I own it. It's fantastic. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. I have okay. it on the 3DS. I yeah. love that game. There's some tutorial that I just I'm not getting. And Fair then enough. my last Game Boy game is uh, Kirby Pinball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like I like pinball games on my Game Boy. Cool. Same. Yeah, sweet. Um, my next item is we have a Pikachu mug. Sweet. I was going to get a Detective Pikachu. Oh, I didn't even talk about the games I played. Let me get <laughs> it's okay. That. Nobody cares. Well, well, I'll just go I, over you, one. You know why I don't. <laughs> I, I played uh, Detective Pikachu for 3DS. Yeah. yeah. A super cool... It's kind of like um, a kiddie version of Ace Attorney or Professor yeah. Layden. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you like Pokemon, you'll love this game. It, 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 the world... That it builds with the Pokemon and everyone interacting with each other. Okay, right. it's 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 quite cool. Should I just wait for the movie though? I think that's like that's what I'm asking myself. You it's going to be mean? a fantastic movie. This Detective Pikachu is such a likable character. Is it Ryan Reynolds in the game? No, no, no. But the voice acting is fantastic for him. Okay. Some of the other ones are a little out there. Yeah. And it's funny because the whole game, everyone's – there's so many there's so many cinematic scenes, and it's all done in real time. Yeah. And they're using motion captures, you can tell, because some of the actors are like – they're like over actors, and they'll do this. <laughs> kind of like Donkey Kong uh, Country. The, the oh, TV my show. God. The Canadian-only TV show <laughs> the TV that was made show, by YTV. Yeah. The yeah. animation is yeah. very much like that. Everyone's just like very animated and stuff. Yeah. But um, overall, it's, I really enjoy it. And if you haven't played it, play it. Okay. If Pikachu, if you like Pikachu and Pokemon. 
Yeah, by the way, to any of our listeners, it, it might be better for you guys to go to YouTube at some point for any of this. Yeah. Just so you can actually see what Rusty is showing off. You'll know this one if you're listening. This is a Super Famicom uh, controller. Well, I can tell by the crinkle of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically the same as your regular Super Nintendo controller, but it's got the multicolors, which and is kind of cool. all the buttons are convex instead of being concave. Yeah, There's we had two. two yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And then we're going to get into some more Club Nintendo items. We got uh, the Game & Watch collection. Nice. These were Club Nintendo um, exclusives, exclusives yep. that I wasn't able to... To get, I guess we just didn't steal enough yep. uh, Club Still Nintendo cards. For it. <laughs> but it's nice. Oh, I really like the Club Nintendo rewards, and I'm glad that I, I added this to my collection. Yep. Uh, let me run through some uh, DS games. We got some uh, Takeo Drum Master, which I freaking rock at in uh -huh. Japan. I love That's that my game. favorite game. Okay. Mm. It's so good. Actually, today they announced um, Hori is developing the, uh, drum controller. the drum controller for, for the, the Switch? Switch version. Nice. And the Switch version is going to have Jump Up Superstar from Super Mario Odyssey. Sweet. Uh, Kirby, uh, a Kirby song, like the generic one. Yeah. And uh, a couple Splatoon 2 songs. Nice. Cool. Which I was able to preview in Japan. And? On the... On the um, on the actual arcade machine. Yeah, yeah, I just played Jump Up Superstar over and over again. <laughs> of course you did. And then I wasted so much money just trying to, like, find it in the Japanese menus. <laughs> and then I, I developed, my, my memory kicked in, and I was able to to get it every time. Nice. Uh, I got Tingle's Rupee Quest. Oh, yeah. So this is a Japanese exclusive. It plays basically like a, like a top-down Zelda game, I think. But Tingle's the main star, and that's okay. kind of cool. Creepy. And then my two... <laughs> Uh, I got two uh, of the Elite <laughs> Beat Agents games from Japan. Yep. I think the first one came out, and then we got Elite Beat Agents in uh, America, and then the second one came out only in Japan. And these games are, are really fun if you haven't played any. Yeah, it's one with like it has like little numbers on the screen. You have to. Yeah, it's a rhythm right game. Order. It's a yeah, rhythm yeah, yeah. Do, like yeah. circles and stuff. Unfortunately, these, these these games don't have uh, Avril Lavigne Skater Boy yeah. or. Uh, <laughs> David Boy, actually, that game had a great track list, mm -hmm. but it wasn't sung by the originals. It was sung by uh, yeah. They were knockoffs. They were knockoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so those they, games they, had knockoffs until like Rock Band came out. That's very true. true. Yeah, like yeah. Guitar Hero one and two were all covers. That is. Oh my God, you're right. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we got we got down. we got spoiled after a certain point in time. Yeah, whatever. But there's something special about those covers that you can never get anywhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like watching like. Ferris Bueller's Day Off with like, you know the the, the TV edit version. Yeah, <laughs> I've had it with these Monday to Friday snakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> uh, speaking of rhythm games, I got the Game Boy Advance version of Rhythm Rhythm Heaven. Yep. Okay. For Game Boy Advance, the first one in the series. Nice. And the good thing about Game Boy Advance is it's not region locked. Like most oh, yeah. uh, most older ones aren't. <clears throat> I got Mother Three that I'll never be able to get get to play, but I thought it'd be cool to display in my collection. Yep. Um, and I got a bunch of faceplates that were kind of on sale. I guess the new 3DS didn't pick up Steam in hmm. Japan. So they, they stopped selling these. So these are the three I could only find. They got some polka dots, some lame colors, and then I got some cool um, Disney edition ones, which is... Yeah, it looks like a baby nice. blanket. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, over here, I got the Super Smash Brothers 64. Complete oh, in box. Nice. Nice. It's kind of cool. Yeah. If you're listening, look it up. Uh, look up the Japanese box art. It's, it's kind of cool compared it, to what we got here. It is way nicer than our box art, in my opinion. It's almost pretty similar. It's close, but I like. A lot it of the art style was in like the um, like the code book and so on, but it was the, it was a bit different on the cover. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. And then we got some uh, masking tape <laughs> for Nintendo Labo. I wish I got more, but there was two, another two that I, I didn't get. Nice. And when I got home, my partner Jonathan got me these two beautiful Labo sets that nice. I have yet to build. I will build them soon. Review coming soon. Yeah. yeah. It's just I have no room for them. When you live in a small <laughs> condo, it's hard to... They're going to take up a lot of space. Yeah. Oh, and if you missed it yesterday, uh, Jimmy Fallon, Ariana Grande, they uh, performed her hit single. on, And, and they were using Nintendo Labo uh, as instruments. Cool. Okay, let are me these, wrap this up with... I was uh, going to say, are these, these, these are the two biggest pieces out of the box. Yeah, these are definitely my two biggest pieces. Yeah. We have the classic edition of the family computer and the super family computer. Yeah. Complete with uh, a bunch of different games. This one has the, the, the legend of Miss, uh, the mystical ninja yeah. legend of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And apparently it's pretty easy to play in English, and I'm looking forward to play that one. Nice. And the Famicom, I don't really care about the games. 
I just like the system. It's it still so looks cool. really cool. Yeah. It looks awesome. I just can't believe they still soldered the wire into the back. Well, of, of the course, system. that's how it was built for the original one. They could have just had inputs. Like it's the modern day. They could have put inputs in the back of the system to make it look like it, but then you could still, you know what I mean. But either way, they'd have to be connected. Why not? Like why? Why else would you take them out? For extensions. Oh so yeah, you can that's actually true. Play it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm planning to get a, like a small CRT television to like put it in the corner somewhere so you could like play close up, kind of like how it's meant to be played. All right, fair enough. And last, or... and then this is just a um, Game Boy Advance Famicom Classic Edition of the original Mario Brothers. Yeah, cool. It's got like a mini complete box art, so I thought that was cute to have. And lastly, I got the Kirby Cafe CD. Cool. cool. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. And and he didn't buy me a damn thing. <laughs> I have two special things for my no two special way. things. Oh. <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First, I have something for Polly. Oh, oh my God! It's beware. It's beware. <laughs> and this reminds me of Polly, so I bought it. For yeah, be- Beware is one of my new, like, it's one of my favorite Alolan Pokemon. I oh, really? To death. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, thanks, man. And now, because Ryan's very tall, and he likes Who's dragons, Ryan's? because Arzy's very tall <laughs> and likes dragons, I got him a dra- uh, Alola dra- um, Executor. Executor. <laughs> Thank you, Polly. Hello. No problem. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> Yay, Yay, Japanese toys. Yeah, 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 fight. Uh, well, fight right, for my love. Plays, for, uh, plays yeah. with their new toys. <laughs> I will see you very soon right after this break. Bye. back hello Hello. and now it's time for news (laughs) (laughs) so we have a couple uh news tidbits that we want to touch upon before we get into rumors Mm -hmm. and we're going to start with the switch online announcement now they announced this way back they've been trickling information out so it's basically there's basically not much new information here uh there's there's stuff that's been confirmed that wasn't confirmed before which i'm very happy we've known about the price point yep we've known about the NES games? Yeah. Only in the sense that we were supposed to get, like, one free one a month. Yeah, we yeah. knew that there would be some, but it wasn't a lot of detail. Maybe, maybe we should get there. into the details before we start discussing it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you so, have well, them? those games, so now there's going to be 16? Is no, it's 20. 16 or 20, so, yeah. It's it was 20. 20. Okay, so it's yeah, 20. So they're going to announce an, another 10 at a later date, of course. Yeah. They, we still don't have confirmation whether or not we are going to get Super Nintendo or N64 games, but... It's not outside outside of the realm of possibility. Of course it isn't, but so they actually they actually mentioned the SNES games a while back, and then they kind of like stopped talking about it. Yeah, yeah. So there's no specific mention of what we would consider a virtual console. Yeah, they actually announced that the virtual console banner is dead. Mm-hmm. Did you guys hear that? I did, and I heard a lot of people freaking out, being like, "What the hell? Virtual console's dead!" And it's like, guys, like. Chill out. It's the same thing. It's just a streaming service now. They're probably just going to call it by a different name, but it's just not going to be called Virtual Console anymore. But yeah, we, exactly. We still don't know if it's a streaming service. We don't know if they're going to build upon this library or it's going to be a rotation of 20 games or a rotation of 10 games. We have no idea. That's fair. I just I feel like if they're going to do it right, build it like Netflix or Hulu or any one of those amazing services that are out there right now, once something's there... Leave it there at least for a little while. If you're going to take something away, that's fine. But don't cycle all of them out and bring some new ones in to replace yeah. them. Keep the ones that are doing well. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm sure more details will come in as they go along. Yeah. But the most important thing is I'm very excited about them actually catching up to 2005 <laughs> and bringing in cloud saves. Yeah. So you've been affected. Uh, well, well, no, you, you have, you've never lost your I saves. I never lost my saves, but it was fucking nerve-wracking. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you on that, but it is good. I mean, thank God they have that. They, as far as I remember, they said they mentioned something about making the voice chat potentially better with the system with the service. Well, I'm hoping that, but they never really said anything. And they're mm. doubling down on the app, so don't expect that to go anywhere anytime yeah, that's soon. Fair. I don't think the Switch is capable of of running 
Well, it doesn't have a built-in mic, so you would need to have a Bluetooth headset, and then there would have to be some whatever it takes to be compatible to do that because the mic or the um, uh, audio jack that's in there is for headphones only. It doesn't uh, it doesn't have the prongs for or it doesn't have the they, uh, connections or leads for microphones. They true. they could for the home st- uh, the home side set in functionality for a USB set of mic yeah. or a USB set of headphones. Yeah, but that's yeah. so clunky. It is, but at least if you offer the option, if people have them, they want to use them. Like, what's what's everything's cares, Bluetooth right? these days? Like, that's well, that'd be the most economical thing, at least the way the system is set up. Yeah, but it's only really setting up software or integration within the the OS. I, I think it's possible to do both. If you're well, going to do one, you might as well do both. I they heard? could. They've done this partnership with a mobile app. I don't see that going anywhere or anytime soon. It's mm-hmm. not no partnership. That's their it. app. That's that's their. Well, they spent the resources on making it, and they're going to make sure that we use it. <laughs> But we're not going to. No. No. Not going to get us. Skype or Hangouts for the win. Yeah, and then I really don't really, I don't know. Uh, I have a feeling we're going to get a new Switch revision in the next, like, two, three years. And I have, uh, they, I'm, I'm hoping we'll get, like, a proper online yeah. chat connectivity support. Well, I'm crossing my fingers. But either way, the way this cloud service is set up, I am all for it. Even the fact that they set up that family plan. Yeah, that's the one oh thing is the God. price point of the family plan. It's is ridiculous. Up to eight people, not yeah. seven. Yeah, eight mm. people for what, $37, $34, whatever it is, American? That's like 50 cents a month. Well, American. But yeah, still, that's yeah, it's nothing. Not, it's not much. Yeah. I, it, it is a no-brainer. If they set it up the way that Google and Apple and whoever have set up their family plans for their streaming services, mm-hmm. you can set up whoever you want. And yeah. you're set. Yeah. As long as you get a band of your friends who can fill up at least, or sorry, up to eight spots, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, but you start having the cost savings at like two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, sure. It makes it makes perfect sense. Now, I was reading more about that because they actually uh, released the family plan. You can make your family today. Yep. But uh, apparently, the, per- the, o- the, the only person who has real control and who gets all the, the, the messages and feedback is the leader of the family plan. Fair. So how is it working with like save files? That's that's your own. Everyone gets their okay. own save files. I, I assume that's that's set up under your Nintendo ID. Yes. So yeah, that shouldn't be an issue. Yeah. Now a lot of people are complaining that you have to pay for cloud service because Xbox gives it for free, mm-hmm. PlayStation gives it for free as well. Oh no no no! PlayStation. No, it's on, have... it's part of Play. No no no! It is for free. It's no for no free. no! no. It, it's, <clears throat> it's you have to pay for it, but you could you could back up your save data through a USB cable for free. Yes, that's right. Sorry, you're right. So I don't care about that. Would you guys care? No, especially considering the price point. Like, is it really that big of a deal? Are you really not able to spend $20 a year? You already spent $400 on the system. It's not great, but I'm not going to get bent about it. That's what I'm saying. Like, the price point is good enough where it's, I'm not, exactly, I'm not going to get bent out of shape. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, I'm happy. I'm actually very happy with this. I think this is another great move by them. And hopefully they keep making good moves going forward. I, uh, I'm just more interested to see where the virtual lineup's going to go. Because right now they're, they're, they're focusing hard on the super, the classic editions of their older games. Yep. But we still have no way to play N64 games, GameCube games, Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games, DS yep. games, etc. Yeah, so new, I think Nintendo's doing a good job of shoring up some of its glaring weaknesses. Like I'm not gonna give this praises like, oh my god, it's so amazing they're fucking doing this, yeah. but at least it's a step in the right direction, yeah. I think. It's kind yeah. of uh, uninteresting to me. Like it's just like, oh cool, I kind of already knew this stuff, and it's just like more of like It's kinda of like, okay, finally. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I got you on that. Cute. Yeah, cool. Let's let's jump into some juicy rumors. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah, yeah, wind yeah. up the rumor mill. Yeah. <laughs> Churn it up. Is that how mills work? Sure. That's now how mills work. It's like churning butter for some reason. <laughs> Disclaimer, these are all rumors. They're not true until Pure proven conjecture. true. Yeah, yeah. But let's yeah. pretend they are true. So I don't want to hear, well, if it's true, let's let's eliminate that. Let's pretend these are true. Let's okay? take away all, right. all of our all logic right. and let's speculate wildly. Okay, yes, <laughs> wildly. The pie is in the sky. I yes. repeat, the pie is in the sky. Yeah. So the last two days have been pretty juicy. Yesterday, we got a um, we got we now know what retro is working on. Yes, <laughs> and that is Star Fox Grand Prix. Yes. So this is a Diddy Kong style racing game with um, F Zero racing elements. Yep. It's also got an adventure mode, boss fights, a hub world to explore, and of course, it's made by Retro. Oh. Well, that's cool. 
it, it seems kind of weird. Like it's kinda, like I'm I'm interested. It's a very if this is true, this is a very very interesting concept. Very. It seems kind of a weird move because Mario Kart has already used F Zero aspects of it, so that's already been done in a far larger. Like they don't need an untested franchise for that, mm-hmm. but. I guess what's interested is bringing in those Diddy Kong racing throwbacks, like the boss battles and so on, which haven't existed since, as far I'm as I know. I'm surprised no one's ever tried to to copy Diddy Kong Diddy Kong Racing. It's such an it's such a successful formula, and it's only been done once. Yeah, for the most part, I, I know where you're coming from. I my I, I, and not to say anything, I am super excited if it ends up being like that. But if it is going to be like F Zero, not to say that I'm not going to play the game, and I don't want to really like complain about it, but like. Why not just make an F-Zero game? Because I think Star Fox is more marketable. It's got cute anthropomorphic pl- uh, characters and stuff. And it, it's just... Okay. It's a little more Nintendo. Like, it, you can't market F-Zero anymore, I don't think. I, I think you can market F-Zero just as much as you can market Star Fox. I don't think it will get that for everyone rating appeal. Like, Do you think it's just that like uh. F-Zero comes off kind of like dated? Like that... 80s, 90s, futuristic kind of... I think so. ...kind of style. Star Fox is kind of along the same vein, though, if you think about it. But it's it, a lot though. more fun. It's more like... It's got more mass appeal. And I'm all for it. I'd, I'd rather have Star Fox with F-Zero style racing, and then you mix in, like, shooter elements from Star Fox. So if you combine the the two franchises, you can create something pretty unique by borrowing from both franchises. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. I just... I don't know. I I'm, I am excited. I do really want to play this game, especially considering it's retro. They already have a past in this, which is a huge plus. And another thing that not many people have pointed out is yeah. they have actually developed uh, on uh, Mario Kart Seven and Eight. Maybe not Eight, but I no, know I they... think they did actually. Yeah, yeah. Like they they know what they're doing when it comes to racing games. On the flip side, this seems like a waste of their abilities, though. Well, they know what they're doing with, with any genre. They 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 make they made they make. One of the the greatest platformers out there. Yeah. First person shooters. They redefine yeah. that genre with uh Metroid with Prime. Metroid Prime, which they, is now going to a different studio, which again blows my mind. Which is heavily rumored that Bandai Namco is developing. Okay, I fair know if enough. That's a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. That worries me. <laughs> yeah, it does. Well, it worried me about Smash Two, and Smash Four ended up being the best out of the bunch, in my opinion. Yeah. So I can't really complain. I think that's... with the right leadership, any uh, developing a development team is only as good as its leader. Yeah, not to say uh, not to say anything, but they just released Nino Kuni Two as well, and that game is fantastic. So they can. Yeah, I heard you right. talking shit about Nino Kuni One on the the, the, the past <laughs> episode that I was away. I don't even know how they get away with calling it Nino Kuni Two. You know, let's fi- take the game that Studio Ghibli Monster Pokemon game and take out the Studio Ghibli and the monsters, and then just call it a sequel. <laughs> well, it does fall in the same world. It does. It's but the exact I don't, but, same world. But they've hand waved like so much of the important shit from the first. It's, now, however, it's true, they have still... the same composer from Studio Ghibli and the same character designer from Studio Ghibli. It's just but... they haven't done the the story. The story and the, that 20 minutes of animation, which is, oh, that's amazing. It is, but it's not integral to the experience. Yeah, but I don't like you know? how you dismiss it. You said, oh, like, this is, I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm quoting you correctly, but you, you basically said that Nino Kuni 2 is like, don't even look at Nino Kuni 1. Nino, Tun, Kuni, Nino Kuni 2 is, is the one that you yeah. have to, to keep your eyes on. Yeah. <laughs> And I think I think we'll invest in RC is in this. Get him. I think I think Action! I think you have to reconsider. And I think uh, the the monster mechanics from the first game and the fact that Studio Ghibli put 20 minutes of animation, which is huge, into the first game, you they kind of like stand up on each other's legs, like like they stand up the, with their own rights. But you know my, what I mean? it's not to say that it was even a problem because I still love Nino Kuni One. It's mm-hmm. just the Pokemon system wasn't good. It wasn't bad. It it was nowhere near as good as any other Pokemon system I've seen out there. The the monsters were it wasn't very commonly to, clones it, of themselves. It wasn't designed to catch them all. It, like the, uh, yeah, but how also, do you create a monster game and then have, expect people to not want to catch them all? That's like a huge piece to having monster games is the ability to go out and get as many of them as you want in different variants. And I want them all, and I want this one, and I want that one, and they they just strong arm you all. into getting a certain amount of them. Yeah, I don't know. Again, I'm not saying the game was bad. I just say I'm yeah, saying you, uh, my she problem, was better. My problem is you dismissed it, and I want you to um, reissue a statement. 
<laughs> what, that, that, that is more in line with yours? I think you need to apologize, <laughs> but it's too late to apologize. Uh-huh. It's too late. That's it. Light the fires. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It forks out. It's it's Inquisition time. But yeah, I just wanted to, to throw that out there to our listeners that there there's another side to the to the argument. There is. There so is. I guess you didn't enjoy the podcast while we were while you were gone. Oh, I was fuming when you were talking. <laughs> like, they're, they're, they didn't mention Studio Ghibli. I, I was just I was I was losing it a bit. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, oh, again, they had very little to do with the new ones. Oh, so. and another thing that I wanted to call you out on is um, you said something about the Seven Up Spot game, and you're like, oh, good luck finding that one. And I I had the picture, and I wanted to post it to our Instagram account. And say, found Wait, did it. I say did I did I actually say good luck finding you that? You did, yeah. Because I don't think I meant to say that because oh, I know yeah. it's I know it's very popular. But yeah, what, what is it like three dollars? I don't know. Even, I'm like, oh, look at that. Yeah, well, they're, they're they're out there. Yeah, let's get let's get back into Star Fox rumors. Oh god. Okay. So either way, who I'm would excited. you play as? Who would be your main character? Slippy. 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 No question. I think I'd go with Grippy. Slippy's weird uncle. Is that actually a character? Is that yeah. a thing? You know, uh, Star Fox Zero that came out on Wii. U? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You know, Project Guard that also came packaged in with the game. Oh my god. Of course. Well, Uncle Grippy was like the. <laughs> The main character in the game is just like this weird yellow toad-like creature, so super big. So it's Grandpa Slippy, uncle, in a sense. Uncle, yeah, but I'm uncle saying for Grippy. Grippy, you know what I mean. Yeah, so I'm hoping if, if <laughs> Uncle <laughs> Grippy, there's nothing weird going on. There. There's nothing, <laughs> nothing at all wrong here. <laughs> Why do they call him Uncle Grippy? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping Uncle Grippy is is a playable character. In, uh, in in the the new confirmed Star Fox slash F Zero racing game. I play Revali. I mean Falco. Yeah, Rivali. I get that. Oh yes, Falco. Yeah, I like him. Yeah. He... Did you guys enjoy Diddy Kong Racing? No, fuck yes. that game. You know, no, it was too that goddamn game. hard. I couldn't get through the silver coin really? challenges. Yeah. Oh no, I love that game. Those ones were it got it got ridiculously hard yeah. for no reason. It's, yeah, that, I, that, Diddy Kong Racing. This is, <laughs> this is why I have not missed Diddy Kong Racing. When you say, how come they've never picked it up? It's probably because a lot of people got pissed off by the Silver Coin Challenge, threw that game away, and never played it again. <laughs> yeah, but that's just a small aspect. It when was you look a at, very small when aspect. When you look at Diddy Kong Racing on the whole, like it's just it's, it was it was a cool concept, a little hub world that you could explore and just like go at your own pace. And that was multiple kinda, vehicles, multiple vehicles, and it's cool to explore in vehicles because you, usually you're going so fast, you're trying to. Get in first place, but it's nice to just kind of like stop and smell the roses and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Go Can we talk pig. about the rumor? <laughs> Go with pig. Actually, yeah, that that's my most exciting rumor. When I heard that, I'm like, oh my god, I can't wait to see what this game's gonna look like. Oh no, 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 no. This next one is like, oh my god, I'm getting all fucking jittery just thinking yeah. about. Well, it. I want to save the good one for last and just get through the really crappy one about Final Fantasy VII. No, we gotta like, save that for last. That's oh, our yeah, favorite it's, it's one. Super <laughs> important. <laughs> T. But yeah, I think what, um, E3 prediction, Retro's going to announce their game and it's going to be Donkey Kong Country 3. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm okay with. I, I really, I, I would love to play another Donkey Kong. Yeah, me too. Are you guys interested in Tropical Freeze? For Switch? Yeah. Potentially. Did I mean, I already for... played it. Yeah, I already played it for Wii U. Okay, yeah, I mastered the crap out of that game. That's the so thing. I, I, I have no, not... I, I, okay. I, can't, I can't do it. Yeah, no, that's the thing. I did not master it. I think I'm due for another playthrough, but there's a lot of other games I would rather play right now. Yeah. So I'll save it. Yeah, I don't like platforms enough to pay full full dollar for them. Yeah, it depends on which one. I feel like Tropical Freeze is one it. of the only it's ones. It's like a brand new game. I know, but it like I know how it goes. It's Donkey Kong Country. I don't know. It just doesn't really interest me. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you're mm. not a platforming guy. No, not really. Mm. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, let's get into it, Paulie. I know Finally! Been, I know you've been waiting for this one. <laughs> a brand new Pokemon rumor. Yep. And a lot of people are saying it's true. There's a lot of people out there that have released um, rumors before that have ended up being true, and they're all saying this. Yeah. I, I've looked into it myself as well. It, this this looks very promising. Apparently, big outlets like IGN and like the bigger guys, apparently they know about these things, but they can't say anything until like someone on Reddit leaks something, and then they're like, oh yeah, that's true, or that's false. So they, they, this rumor has been What's started. What's the rumor? We're going to get to it. <laughs> Oh, slowest build-up ever. A new Pokemon game for Nintendo Switch we all know is coming out. Yep. It's called Pokemon Let's Go yep. Pikachu Edition and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Edition. Oh, yes. So this is going to be a remake of Pokemon Yellow. Um, Ash yep. is not the main protagonist. 
Yep. Um, but Ash and Blue will be the rivals to whoever the new protagonists are. Red and Blue. Are. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Red, red and Blue. <laughs> Come on, it's the games. Yeah. Um, Pokemon will follow your trainers. Now, yep. I'm not sure if it's just for Pikachu and Eevee specifically or if it's going to be everybody. Or maybe just the first person in your party like it was in uh, HeartGold Soul Silver. Possibly, yeah. There's, there's a lot of options for that. Now, there's a screenshot that leaked recently with Eevee, uh, uh, the main male character riding a Lapras with an Eevee on its head. Yeah. So now all these things are starting to line up mm. and kind of starting to look a little bit true. I'm excited. I'm so, so excited. Now it's called Pokemon Let's Go. So Pokemon Go was fucking huge, right? Yep. So this is there's going to be integration with Pokemon Go. Nice. And there's going to be a, a new device that comes with it that's going to be able to play with Pokemon Go and this new Pokemon game. Okay. All right. And Catching Pokemon will be handled similarly to Pokemon Go. So no battles, just throwing a ball at something? We don't know. I really hope these are, these are These are the list of rumors that we have. I really hope that ends up being false because like the whole point of Pokemon is Well, maybe it's, you, maybe it's you battle and then when you try and catch it, you have to fucking flick your joystick. Or maybe I'm it's optional. I'm just going to like stop at the – you could start with the Eevee and just ignore all the further rumors <laughs> <laughs> and just and enjoy that happy space. Fair enough. <laughs> now, we got two beautiful logos that were leaked. Yep. And um, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I'm just, I've been waiting for a console version of Pokemon for so goddamn long. And now, especially that I can choose Eevee as my starter, if this ends up being true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guilty too. Teehee. Um, th- this might be my dream. Eevee is arguably one of my favorite Pokemon ever. The, the type of customization you can have to your team by choosing Eevee is absolutely flawless in my eyes. Not to mention that the rumor is that we're getting a new evolution with this game as well. Maybe okay. even two. That's huge. It seems a little unfair, like, given yeah. Pikachu or Eevee. Like, yeah, and you probably won't, it won't be in Alola, so you probably won't even have access to Alola and Raichu. Oh, yeah, it's going to be st- standard Kanto. Unless Raichu. you get, like, an exclusive third, um, third evolution of Pikachu, which they actually were talking about recently. Really? Yeah. It was like an. Uh, it's like a. Um, a well, Raichu pop. could really use a mega form if nothing if nothing else. Yeah, but I think megas are done right now. Like, oh, megas yeah, that's true. They the... kind of discarded megas for um, the Alolan sun forms. Moon. For Sun and Moon, yeah. 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 I'm, I like this room. I'd love to go back to Kanto. It's, it's, it's my favorite region. I, I, I really don't remember anything else other than uh, the Alola region, maybe because I played it last, but I really like that region. And going back to Kanto would, would be like a, a dream come true. Yeah, I, I think we need something a little more on the traditional side for Pokemon. Yeah, I mentioned mm. it before. Going back and playing Sun and Moon for the second time really showed the blemishes of that game, in my opinion. Mm. The trials were all very boring. They, I feel like gym battles are better just because you there are more your dirty little mouth. Just because there's more battles for the most part within them. Uh-huh. Like I remember going to Mallow's um, trial, the girl with the green hair. Mm-hmm. Her trail sucks. Yeah, you gotta go the, and get like three items. You can finish it in like two minutes, and you gotta wait for like a three minute cutscene. Yeah, and then the totem Pokemon shows up, and it's like okay. A lot well. of those trials were gimmicky, but I like that they tried something new. It wasn't just all about battling. It was more like exploration, collect this, make a meal. Like I, I kind of did like that. I, 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 yeah, in in concept, in concept I like yeah. it. It's just it's it's the execution that killed me. And playing it the first time, I guess I was blinded by potential nostalgia and just how much I love the franchise. But getting Back to it the second time, it just. I still think I it was great. I don't think maybe quite as good as like X and Y, which are like really yes. standing up there as my favorite. What like oh, there's my favorite games. No question, especially because I played them back to back. Yeah. So yeah, I know exactly where you're coming from with that. That there's, was also good. Yeah, I love that game. Yeah. See, that was the peak of Pokemon in my eyes. I just, I, I really, I, I think. Well, uh, there's only been one series since then, so I mean. Like it's not like poke, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> You're right, and there's a lot that Sun and Moon did that was better than X. It's just at its core, you know what I mean? Yeah. On Either way, the whole. I'm on picking the whole. Eevee. What are you guys picking? Eevee. I'm going with Pikachu. Yeah, good call. Classic. Jolteon's my boy. <laughs> yeah, but also like Umbreon's my boy. I was like shocked by how good Leafeon is. Oh, Leafeon and Glaceon were two of the best out of the bunch. I do like that design of of um. Leafeon? Leafeon, yeah. But like Leafeon's monstrous when you like put swords dance on him. Uh-huh. Hmm. Glaceon is arguably even better. It is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's a special tank. Yeah. The thing has crazy special defense. Well, so is Vaporeon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I, just, I like Glaceon better. Yeah. I, I never really liked Vaporeon that much. It felt like it was too watery. I never quite liked Vaporeon, but Vaporeon's fucking amazing. Like, oh, for stat-wise? Yeah. Oh, no question. Just poor Flareon. Mm. Poor Flareon. It has good stats. It just has terrible moves. Captain Falcon does not approve. Yeah. Mm-mm. Oh, by the way, I think we're going to see Captain Falcon as like a secret character in Star Fox Grand Prix for sure. Oh, there's no if, question. If, that, if that's going to be the spiritual successor to F Zero, then that's definitely going to happen. If, if anything, it'll be that Star Fox callback to that F Zero game where they had um, Fox's father as a human yes. in F Zero. Was it sixty four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could see him oh, potentially coming back as a character. They've always I kind of been integrated. Yeah. Also, um, in one of the endings to Star Fox for DS, Star Command. Yes. They had like 100 endings. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One of them was Crystal left and Star Fox was set, um, James McCloud. Okay. What's his name? The main character? Fox, Fox McCloud. McCloud. Fox McCloud, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> he, was, uh, he was crying and he yeah. was sad. And then Falcon was like, don't worry, buddy. We're going to enter racing. And then it ends off with both um, him and Falco in racing suits and, like, the R-Wing in an F-Zero style. Oh, oh that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So we don't know if, like, that's where this rumor is coming from. at all. Well, it, it was, like, one of 100 endings. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. there was a lot of endings. In yeah, that game. so it was – you probably just never saw it because you yeah. never got that ending. Yeah. Yeah, Q. So you guys want to talk about Hold Final on, I Fantasy I want to, like, sit in awkward silence for a second. Simmer in that. <sighs> <laughs> so now our biggest news today. Wait, are we done with Pokemon? Yeah, I think I think I. I'm yes. Are you guys excited? Hype. I, oh yeah, yeah, no, no, straight up hype. Yeah. But like, I just I'm I'm excited for the fact that it could potentially be Pikachu and Eevee as starters. I'm not. Everything I think else I, is I whatever. Think based on your conversation about all these like awesome evolu- uh, evolutions, mm-hmm. I'm thinking that it's a little unbalanced, and uh, it seems unlikely that this will actually ca- this will actually happen. I, I see where you're coming from, but it's more just on the side of like giving you customization with your starter potentially. Yeah, so we'll Pikachu gets goes. nothing. He gets like shit on a stick. Well, again, it could get a third evolution. You never know. Yeah, he gets so- wide too. <laughs> Unless Pikachu gets like a million evolutions like Eevee. Oh. That seems pretty unlikely. So, you guys want to talk about Final Fantasy VII? <laughs> no, they might give him a surfboard. <laughs> surfboard. Surfboard. Uh. Okay, and our last rumor, saving the best, the best one for last. Evidently. Yep. Final Fantasy VII has officially been pushed to 2023. No, no. It's and me and RZ don't care. Yep. Headline, game in development may have long development cycle. <laughs> what news? What rumors? I'm shocked to my core. To be fair, they've said they're pushing for it to come out earlier, but it's because the development team completely got flipped over and the concept of the game is out the window as far as I've heard. Well, they only released saying, like an FMV, no? Did they no, no, no. They, they released gameplay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They definitely released and gameplay. And so you were saying it's an action RPG now? It sounds like it, but I also noticed in the video there's the bar to choose attacks but clouds going in and slashing away at people and jumping and dodging so like i have no idea what to yeah. make of it that game does need a remake it's ugly as ass it is ugly as it's ass. really bad yeah we're gonna get a lot of hate mail for that but whatever it's all good well, everyone no one likes the look of that game <laughs> okay <laughs> that's what you keep telling yourself Okay. I don't know. I'm not going to try to pretend that the Nintendo 64 PlayStation era aged well. It did not, but I don't there's know. Mario 64, people. like in HD on the Wii U, looks pretty freaking good. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. the textures are a little muddy, mm. but like it's. It ain't bad. Even the Mario costume <laughs> in Odyssey, like that still holds up a bit, no? The, the, um, the that Mario is fun. I do yeah, like doing cute. that. Mm. But yeah, I guess that's it for rumors. And I guess that's it for our show. Yeah. No. Thank mm. you for listening. We have less than a month for E3, so I'm thinking next week we should have some uh, uh, predictions for E3. Nice. Just for fun. So let's start sure. writing those down, and we'll uh, we'll gather in two weeks and Perfect. discuss them. And then the week after that, E3 will probably be done, and we could talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of E3 coming up. Thank you for listening. Cool. Polly, where can they find us? Uh, you guys can find us on YouTube, where uh, I think that's the only outlet we have for video. But if you guys are ever wanting to, uh, I think listen we'll be to broadcast on Channel Three next week. So oh, if you wanna, oh, VH1. Yeah, VH1. <laughs> if you want to catch us there too, you can. Uh, anyways, uh, if you are watching on YouTube and you ever do want to listen to us on the go, instead we are on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, TuneIn, and Podbay. Yeah, and then you can just ignore the first half of the first half of the episode. 
Yeah, it's just, <laughs> it is what it is. And uh, yeah, if you guys ever want to reach out to us, we're on Facebook. Uh, we have an Instagram page that we haven't touched in like yeah, but we four have months. some great pictures on there. We do. If you guys want to check us out, uh, Mitomo just shut down, so we can actually can't make any of those beautiful Mi Photo yeah, that's uh, awesome. pics that I used to used to do. But uh, we'll we'll find something else or not, or just go look at the gallery. It just is what it is. Yeah. Cool. All right. Anyways, bye. And scene. <laughs> <laughs>